Good evening. This is the Board of Assessors. This meeting is of the official Board of Assessors. Today's date is Wednesday, August 25th, 2021, and the time is 5.10 p.m. I will make a motion to open the meeting. I will second. All in favor? Aye. This is now the beginning of open session. Take a roll call, please. Roll call roll by call name. Roll call vote. Matt. Matthew Lopes. Mark Sonarizio. And uh, Lee Swords is not here. Absent. Would you be kind enough to introduce yourself, ladies? Nicole Beckham. Kelly Oscar. Thank you. Uh, where am I here? This meeting is being held in person at the Cushion Town Hall, 122 Main Street, at Cushion Mass. A recording of the meeting is also posted on the Town of Cushion YouTube channel. Minutes for approval. Minutes of July 22nd, 2021. It's open. The 28th. The 28th, and I make a motion to accept. Is that a typographic error? It is on my okay, part. Okay, that's no problem. Motion to accept, please. Second. All in favor? Aye. With that, I will turn the meeting over to Kelly to address open meeting agenda topics. Thank you, Mark. Um, first off, we are getting into the preparation for the FY22 certification of tax rate and interim adjustments for value for this year. And of course, the um, minimal residential factor on the residential classes, which would lead to classification. Normally, in the timeline of events, this happens in the fall of every year, but preparation begins now and it really is underway uh, from the perspective of the assessors. Uh, secondly, we did have a Zoom presentation by um, young lady named Pamela Wilkins from NearMap. NearMap is a software uh, where um, basically it's uh, a flyover software which has a lot of components. As for the assessors, they definitely could use it because we can uh, find new growth uh, and also measure uh, and list buildings from the actual topographical software that's available. It would also be beneficial to some other town departments such as planning, building, and conservation. Uh, if, you don't, if you recall, um, last year in February, maybe it was this earlier this year in February, I had presented with a request for NEMAC for the assessors uh, in regards to CARES money, but it was declined by the Board of Selectmen as it would be a recurring cost with licensing, but it looks like they're coming back to revisit it as it would be beneficial to yeah. other departments. Absolutely. Um, I completed course 200 and passed the final for my education credits yeah. to maintain the MAA, the MAA status. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm good for three more years, so we'll see. I just want to update everybody on that. I did take the course. It was a Zoom course. I took it while I was in the town hall, so that was a bit challenging, but <laughs> it worked out. Um, this is another agenda topic that I had mentioned last time. FY22 personal property accounts are going out with incorrect addresses, and unfortunately, it is a problem on the Muni side for the import. This has been ongoing for almost two full tax cycles yeah. to no avail. Uh, I have tried to um, upgrade the status of the problem to critical, really haven't gotten uh, far with that from the Muni side. I do want to continue to work upon that and try to get resolution as quickly as possible because it is very inconvenient for the taxpayer as well as yeah. our office. That's all out of, out of house too, right? That's nothing to do in, in here. Uh, no, that's in here. That oh, what is. happens is the information that's on our uh, side that has to import into Muni's to make the bill, yeah. it doesn't take the new info. It keeps the historical info on the, ad on the address and owner. I thought it was on their end. Nope. Well, well. So it is definitely on the import side, and the file that I'm importing, I saw, I checked to make sure the information is right on the file. Right, it is. and it is, and so it's not something. Something in the history. There's a disconnect there. somewhere. Yep. Uh, the day. next meeting date, I'd like to set with the board is all on board with it uh, for September 29th, 2021, at 5 p.m. Yes. Sounds good. September 29th, 2021. Is a Wednesday evening. Yeah. Anything else, Matt? Do you have anything? No. I'm, I, I'm good. Well, you all set? All set, down. With that, I'll make a motion to go into executive session and reconvene into open session once matters are reviewed. I'll make that motion. I'll second that. Roll call vote. Aye. Matt? Mark? Aye. Board will now go into executive session and reconvene into open session thereafter. And I'll make a motion for the board to reconvene in open session. Second. All in favor? Aye. Matt? 
Mark, aye, aye. I make a motion for the board to accept and vote on matters discussed in executive session. The matters are as follows. Review FY 2022 personal exemptions. Repeat applicants 41 Charlie, 917D, 322E, 22A, 37A, and 22E-1. Actually, mm -hmm. that's the tally for each of each clause. Okay. So 41C, nine applicants, 17D, okay, three applicants, yep. 22E2, 22A6, 37A3, and a new applicant at 22E. Review of FY 2023, Chapter 61A and B app applications. 61A had two, 61B had three. Review of maternity leave for administration assistant board updated on progress and outcome. Review of potential town articles for town meeting, fall town meeting, if scheduled, annual town meeting. Our next meeting will be September 29th at 5 p.m. Is there a motion? I will make the motion. Um, second. All in favor? Aye. We adjourn. Thank you. Have a great day. Great night. See you later.